位同学，大家好，欢迎收看 English for International Trade 国际贸易英文。我是主讲老师严燕珍 l o r n a 今天我要来介绍第九讲出货通知信。在我们进入主题前，我们先来看一下第九讲出货通知信的教学目标。本讲教学目标一，使学生了解国贸英文里出货通知信的步骤；二，学习撰写出货通知信；三，了解出货通知信常用句的用法；四，提升学生国贸英文书信写作能力；五，培养运用国贸英文书信社交及沟通能力。首先，在我们呃进入范例之前呢，我们先来看一下出货通知信的步骤。一、撰写出货通知信的步骤。其出货通知信呢是一种文件，它详细提供有关即将出货的讯息。它主要的用意呢，就是告知买方货物目前呢在什么样的地方。并且呢，提供相关的资讯，像是商品将于什么时候寄出，那有哪些商品将会寄出，还有寄出的数量，还有货物的总重量，甚至一共寄出了几箱货物，和包装货物的方式和何时送达等等。出货通知信。也应该注明以何种方式运输。像有些客户呢，或者是卖方，他们习惯呢用航班、用飞机来运送。那这时呢，你就要提供航班的编号，好让客户做好准备接受货品。那接下来呢，还有其他的步骤，像是。要有礼貌的答谢客户的订购。二，告知货已经准备好了，预计什么时候会送达，并提供传播的日期和资料。如果是空运出货的话，那就必须告知航班及班机时间。另外呢，简短的描述订单的内容，像是。生产及交货时间安排上遇到困难而造成延迟出货，则必须跟客户解释目前所遇到的困难。那并请呢客户谅解，同时呢寻求解决问题的方法。三，如果遇到出货时或出货后才付款的情况，这时可以在信里呢提醒客户尽快付款。那最后呢，你要感谢客户的订购，希望呢很快可以再次提供的服务。接下来我们来看看今天 William 跟 Alex 要告诉我们些什么呢 ？Hello, this is Alex. Hi, Alex. This is William. Oh hey, William. What's up? I have to ship the items by vessel from Keelong to San Diego today. I was wondering what is the estimated time of departure. Estimated time of departure? I thought you said you were going to ship it today. Today is the departure day. Ah,、uh, oops. My mistake. I mean, estimated time of arrival. I haven't had my coffee since this morning. Haha, <laughs> no problem. I'll check it for you. One second. Your item will arrive on November 11th. November 11th? Is this the earliest time of arrival? Yes, I believe so. Got it. Thanks for the information. I have to get back to my clients and make sure that this is acceptable. Okay, you better grab a cup of coffee first. Haha. <laughs> Oh yeah, I should. <笑>看来 William 又遇到一个难题喽。
为了加深同学的印象，我来稍微解释一下这个戏剧的内容。Hello, this is Alex. Hi, Alex. This is William. Oh, hey, William. What's up? I have to ship the items by vessel from Keelong to San Diego today. I was wondering what is the estimated time of departure. William 打了个电话给 Alex， 他要问他说，呃、uh, ，我今天呢必须要寄一些货品出去，从。基隆到圣地亚哥 ，Kilon to San Diego。你可以告诉我呢，这个 estimated time of departure。那 estimated time of departure 就是预计出发的日期。Alex 就说 estimated time of departure。你不是说是今天要出货吗？为什么你在问何时要出货呢？我们继续来看。Estimated time of departure. I thought you said you were going to ship it today. Today is the departure day. Ah,、uh, oops, my mistake. I mean, estimated time of arrival. I haven't had my coffee since this morning. Haha, <laughs> no problem. I'll check it for you. One second. Your item will arrive on November 11. Alex 这时候说：“你确定是 estimated time of departure？ 确定是预计出发的日期吗？不过你刚刚不是说今天就要送出去了吗？”这是 William 说 ：“Oops, my mistake。”就是啊，我搞错了。我的意思是说 ，estimated time of arrival， 就是预计到达的时间。那这时呢 ，Alex 说 ，OK， no problem， I'll check for you。我来帮你看一下什么时候会到达。之后呢 ，Alex 说，嗯，预计呢将会在 November 11到达，也就是11月11号。我们接下来看 ，November 11th， is this the earliest time of arrival？ Yes， I believe so。Got it。Thanks for the information。I have to get back to my clients and make sure that this is acceptable. Okay, you better grab a cup of coffee first. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh yeah, I should. <laughs> 这下 William 听到很惊讶，说十一月十一号吗？哦、oh, ，他说这个是最早的日期到达吗 ？Is it the earliest time of arrival? Alex 说 Yes, I believe so. 我相信是耶。这时 ，William 就说：“好吧，那我要赶快去问我的客户，看他是否可以接受这个日期。”那 Alex 就说：“嗯，我想你应该需要一杯咖啡喽。” OK， 接下来呢，我们来看一下 William 要怎么回复客户的一封书信。Dear Mr. Chang. Please note that your PO number three three six one two has shipped today by the vessel from Keelung to San Diego. The estimated time of departure is October tenth, twenty seventeen. Estimated time of arrival is November eleventh, twenty seventeen. Enclosed, please find the invoice, packing list, bill of lading, and certificate of origin for your confirmation. We are drawing a 60-day draft for 55,000 through our banker, the CTBC Bank. The shipping document will be sent through the Bank of America on your acceptance of the draft. Thank you for your attention. We look forward to having you back again soon. Sincerely yours. 接下来，我们来看一下这封信件的几个单字。Vessel, 船 EDT, 也就是 estimated time of departure, 预计出发时间 ETA, 
就是 estimated time of arrival， 预计抵达时间。Banker， 银行业者。接下来我们来看一下这封信件的中文翻译。Dear Mr. Chen， 亲爱的张先生 ，Please note that your PO number three three six one two。Has shipped today by the vessel from Kilon to San Diego. Estimated time of departure, October tenth, two thousand seventeen. Estimated time of arrival, November eleventh, two thousand seventeen. Please note that your PO number three three six one two has shipped today by the vessel from Kilon to San Diego. Estimated time of departure, October tenth, two thousand seventeen. Estimated time of arrival, November eleventh, two thousand seventeen. Please note that your PO 将从基隆寄到圣地亚哥，预计出发时间是二零一七年十月十号，预计抵达时间十一月十一日。Enclosed, please find the invoice, packing list, bill of lading, and certificate of origin for your confirmation. 随信附上发票、装箱单。货运提单和原产地证明书，提供您进行确认。We are drawing a 60-day draft for 55,000 U.S. dollar through our banker, the CTBC Bank. 我们会透过中国信托银行开立美金五万五千元，为期六十天期的汇票。The shipping document will be sent through the Bank of America on your acceptance of the draft. 货运单据将会寄给美国银行。一旦收到您的汇款，正本装运文件会将经由美国银行寄给您。Thank you for your attention. We look forward to having you back again soon. Sincerely yours. 谢谢您的关注，我们期待能再次与您有生意上的往来。诚挚问候。再来，我们看一下 William 跟 Alex 又遇到什么样的问题呢？ Hello. Hi, Alex. It's me again. Hi, William. Had coffee already? Yeah, I just had an espresso. I'm totally awake now. Good to know. <laughs> so, how may I help you? I wanted to ask if we still have the item that Mr. Liang ordered in stock. Hold on, let me check. Yes, we do. Do you know how long it's going to take before it's delivered? May I have his address again? Sure, it's two five three two Pacific Boulevard, Irvine, California. USA zip code is nine two six one eight. Please wait a second. Hmm, it normally takes up to three weeks. Okay. Got it. Oh, don't forget to tell Mr. Liang that you will notify him if there's any unexpected delay. Yeah, that's important too. Thanks for reminding me. You're welcome. William 呢跟 Alex 确认说，商品呢何时会抵达？如果有延误的话呢，必须要告知客户。那为了加深同学的印象。接下来呢，我再来解释一下器具的内容。Hello, hi Alex, it's me again. Hi William, had coffee already? Yeah, I just had an espresso. I'm totally awake now. Good to know. So how may I help you? I wanted to ask if we still have the item that Mr. Liang 
ordered in stock. Hold on, let me check. Yes, we do. 接下来 ，William 又打了电话给 Alex。那 Alex 并没有忘记呢。William 刚刚其实没有喝到咖啡，所以他有点脑筋不是很清楚。所以第一句话呢 ，Alex 就问 William 说 ：“Had coffee already？ 你已经喝了咖啡了吗 ？”William 说：“是啊，我还好，我刚刚已经有喝过了。”那 William 也请 Alex 帮忙查一下 ，Mr. 梁梁先生呢，他订购的商品呢是否？啊、uh, ，还有货。那 Alex 说 ，OK， hold on， let me check， 就请等一下，让我查查看。那 Alex 说 ，Yes， we do， 我们其实还有货的。那 William 想知道呢，什么时候会，如果要出货的话，什么时候可以送达呢？那 Alex 就问说 ，May I have your address？ 他请 William 提供地址，这样子呢，方便查询。在 Alex 查完以后呢，他跟 William 说：“嗯，大概要花三个星期。”他说 ：“It normally takes up three weeks。”接下来再看一下。Do you know how long it's going to take before it's delivered? May I have his address again? Sure, it's two five three two Pacific Boulevard, Irvine, California. USA zip code is nine two six one eight. Please wait a second. Hmm, it normally takes up to three weeks. Okay, got it. Oh, don't forget to tell Mr. Liang that you will notify him if there's any unexpected delay. Yeah, that's important too. Thanks for reminding me. You're welcome. Alex 呢也很好心的提醒 William 说，呃，当你要回信给梁先生的话，请你要告知梁先生说，呃，货物如果会有，呃，不预期的 delay， 就是延迟的话，那啊、呃、会再通知对方。那 William 很感谢 Alex 给他的一个 reminder。OK， 我们接下来看一下 William 如何回复给 Mr. Liang。Dear Mr. Liang, thank you for the order you made on October 9th. This is a confirmation that your order has been successfully received and is currently under process. Attached to this message is a copy of your invoice. Which also includes the details of your order. Delivery normally takes up to two weeks. Therefore, the goods should be delivered no later than October 25th. We will notify you in the event of any unexpected delay. We value your business and are continuously looking for ways to better satisfy our customers. We thank you for being able to provide our service to you, and are looking forward to serving you in the near future. Sincerely yours. 我们来看一下这封信件里面的几个单字。Successfully, 顺利的，成功的。Takes up to two weeks, 需要长达两个星期。Unexpected. 想不到的、意外的，或者是突如其来的。delay， 延缓，使延期、耽搁或延误。我们来看一下中文翻译。Dear Mr. Liang， 亲爱的梁先生 ，Thank you for the order you made on October 9th。谢谢您十月九日成立的订货单。This is a confirmation that your order has been successfully received and is currently under process. 这是一封确认信件。您的订货单已顺利送达，并且在处理中。Attached to this message 
is a copy of your invoice, which also includes the details of your order. 附加在此讯息中的是您发票的副本，其中还包括您订购的明细。Delivery normally takes up to two weeks. Therefore, the goods should be delivered no later than October twenty-fifth. 运送时间一般需要长达两个星期，因此商品应于十月二十五日以前送达。We will notify you in the event of any unexpected delay. 若有任何意外的延迟，我们将通知您。We value your business and are continuously looking for ways to better satisfy our customers. 我们重视您的业务，并且会不断寻找各种方式让客户更加满意。We thank you for being able to provide our service to you, and are looking forward to serving you in the near future. 我们感谢您能给予机会，让我们提供服务给您，并期待着在不久的将来能继续为您服务。Yours sincerely, 诚挚的问候。接下来，我们再来看一个 William 跟 Alex， 他们又面临到什么样的问题呢 ？Oh hey William, I've been looking for you since this morning. Oh hey, I just got back from a meeting with my clients. What's up? Hmm, I want to inform you that due to the serious typhoon which hit last Friday, the delivery for Mr. Chang will be delayed until the end of May. Hmm. So when can we ship the goods? We can probably ship them by the first vessel tomorrow morning. I still need to check with the shipping department again. I will get back to you soon. Okay. I'll let Mr. Chung know about this. I hope that he can understand our situation. I'll keep you updated with the shipping details. Yes, please. Sure. Thanks a lot, Alex. You're welcome. All right. 这次啊，是因为台风的关系呢，而货物没办法顺利照原本固定的时时间出货，所以呢，为了加深同学印象，我再来解释一下内容。Oh hey William, I've been looking for you since this morning. Oh hey, I just got back from a meeting with my clients. What's up? Hmm. I want to inform you that due to the serious typhoon which hit last Friday, the delivery for Mr. Chang will be delayed until the end of May. Hmm. So when can we ship the goods? Because this Alex, ah, has been looking for William for a long time, but he finally found him. Because he was very urgent to tell William that before William had a client, Mr. Chang. 郑先生，他的货物呢可能会因为台风的关系呢而无法准时出货。那 William 就问他说 ：“Oh, so when can you ship the goods？” 那什么时候才能出货呢？我们继续看。We can probably ship them by the first vessel tomorrow morning. I still need to check with the shipping department again. I will get back to you soon. Okay. I'll let Mr. Chung know about this. I hope that he can understand our situation. I'll keep you updated with the shipping details. Yes, please. Sure. Thanks a lot, Alex. You're welcome. All right. Alex 呢就回答 William 说 ，We probably can ship them by the first direct vessel tomorrow morning. 这或许呢，我们可以赶在明天第一班船可以寄出。但是呢，我还是需要跟 shipping department 再 confirm 一次。那 William 说 ，OK， I will let Mr. Chang know。我会再告诉郑先生有关可能 delay 的事情。OK， 接下来呢，我们来听一下 William 他是怎么样回复这封信件呢？
Dear Mr. Chung, we are sorry to inform you that the delivery will be delayed until the end of May due to a serious typhoon that has hit us recently. We hope that you can understand our situation. However, we guarantee to deliver your goods by the first direct vessel tomorrow morning and we will confirm the shipping details. We are sorry again for this delay. Please kindly accept our sincere apology. Sincerely yours. 我们来看一下这封信件的一些单字 Serious 严重的 令人担心的 Typhoon 台风 Direct 直接的 最后我们来看一下这封信件的中文翻译 Dear Mr. Chang 亲爱的郑先生 we are sorry to inform you that the delivery will be delayed until the end of May due to a serious typhoon that has hit us recently. 亲爱的郑先生,我们很抱歉地通知您,交货的日期将会延迟到五月底,因为最近有一个强烈台风袭击我们。We hope that you can understand our situation. 所以希望您可以理解我们的处境。However, we guarantee to deliver your goods by the first direct vessel tomorrow morning, and we'll confirm the shipping detail further. 不过我们保证您的物品会经由明天早上第一班船寄出,并且将会再进一步跟您确认航运的细节。We are sorry again for this delay. Please kindly accept our sincere apology. Sincerely yours. 我们再一次对这次的延迟感到抱歉，请接受我们诚挚的道歉，诚挚的问候。啊，再来呢，我们来看几个简单的常用句子。在开头的部分，我们可以说。Due to lack of space of the carrying vessel, we are sorry that we are unable to ship the goods on time. 由于缺乏船舱的空间,非常抱歉,我们无法将商品准时送达。那内文的地方呢,我们可以说, We will issue the invoice with correct shipping amount of 7,300 US dollar. 我们将实际出货的金额 美金7300元,开具发票。最后在结尾的部分呢,我们可以说,We hope the arrangements are acceptable to you. 我们希望这些安排对您来说是可以接受的。今天呢,我们第九讲出货通知信就讲到这边咯。下周呢,我们再来看看,当你的客户收到货品后,但一直迟迟没有缴款。这时候呢,我们最好写一封催款信来提醒客户说他们尚有款项还没有缴哦,并请他们呢迅速的缴款。今天谢谢大家收看我们的节目,希望我们下周准时再见咯,拜拜。